Woody, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Look, Maud, you do your job and we'll do ours and everything's going to be okay, all right? No, Woody. Now look, Woody, I know why you're acting the way you're acting, Woody. You think you do? Woody! Okay, Maud, you want to talk? Have a seat. Ah, now you see, there you go. Woody, would you have done that for a man? Would you Maud. have pulled out a chair for a man? No, I wouldn't. My point exactly. Now listen to me, Woody. I am not a woman. Do you understand me, Woody? I am a person like you are a person. Bud is a person. Tom is a person. I am a person, Woody. Do you understand? Okay. Now, I'd like to get to my desk person. So could you move your boobs out of the way? <laughs> um, Maud, I... <laughs> That's a terrific case. What does the MS stand for? Master Sergeant? <laughs> No, actually, it stands for Millicent Sweetbreads. <laughs> she, was, uh, she was a piano tuner who uh, became the very first woman president of the United States. I believe it was in 1945. I remember voting for her because when she first arrived at my house... To... Truce. Truce. <laughs> Look, Woody, about this morning, I'm sorry. I was pressing. No hard feelings. Yeah, I was a little upset myself, you understand. A guy gets passed over for a 9,000... 9,000 a year job, he gets a little steamed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, of course I do, Woody. Of course I do. Anyone did to see me this way? Oh, come on, Woody. Woody, don't be embarrassed. I mean, if it had happened... <coughs> did you say 9,000? Yeah. I'm only getting seven. Well, naturally, you're a woman. <laughs> Well, the company figures a dame doesn't need as much as a man. You know, a man has a wife, a family to support, and inflation and all of that. You're different. You've got a guy to support you. Uh, listen, you two. You have exactly ten minutes to get him shaped up and back to work. And that goes for both of you also. If I'm going to do a $9,000 a year job for $7,000, I am going to take the longest coffee break in history. <laughs> Walter, where are you? Are you still upstairs? <laughs> Good, you stay there. <laughs> If you think I'm going to take this lying down, 